Hi everyone, this is Kathy Gross, Course with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple, and today I want to give a high-level overview of the updated navigation in QuickBooks Online. And some of this stuff is actually covered in the research test if you haven't already taken the research test. Now I won't be doing the deep dive that they do for that, but I just want to highlight a few key areas that will help you. Now before we actually do this demonstration, I ask if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and share it with others, please consider doing so or at least click on the notifications button so that way you'll get notified whenever I publish new videos, which I try to do at least one day per week. And even if you're not an accountant user, you're still welcome to join my channel and be a part of our family. Even though most of my content is geared towards accountant users, anybody will benefit from the information. So with that said, if you look and see, I am in my Kathy bookkeeping test file, and I've already started working with the updated navigation. I've included some bookmarks here. Now, one of the other things that they have done with this navigation is that we used to have two versions of this menu and they had a version for business owners with language that was more suited to business owners to understand but now they've consolidated and made one single navigation with common terminology that we can all be on the same page about. So that way, when we're communicating to our clients, they understand what we're talking about. They also did some groupings of some things. So for instance, all the banking stuff now is under this area called transactions. So if you was to click on the bank transactions link right here, that'll take you to the bank transaction screen. But the other thing that you can do now that you used to not be able to do before is you can set up bookmarks. And what bookmarks basically are is allows you to go quickly to areas and include those links to those certain areas that you use frequently. And you can organize those how you want. You can also even organize the menu area to exclude some of these things. So let's start off with the menu area. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the little pencil icon here and any of these things that you do not want to see on here like if you want to get rid of the live experts if you want to get rid of let's see what else let's say if you wanted to get rid of well let's start off with the live experts we'll get rid of that and if you see it it's way down on, in the very bottom right here so what happens is that any of these things that you want to get rid of and you can also reorganize these areas too. say like if you wanted to move budgets up below or uh, between expenses and reports, you can do that as well. So when I click on save, just keep an eye on that lower left area. So that way you can see the changes. So as soon as I click save, you'll see it. And there you go. See where budgets moved uh, in between the expenses and reports and then the live whatever that was that I just did live experts is now under the more area so what that does is it moves out of the way those things they're still there but you have to click on more to see them but what this does is it kind of organizes your menu to limit it to those things that you see or need on a somewhat regular basis but your bookmarks is for your mostly going to type of links that you need all the time so anyway same principle you click on the pencil icon here and let's say we wanted to go ahead and maybe get rid of reports but maybe we wanted to go ahead and put maybe customers and vendors here so and you can actually go ahead and start typing vendors to include that and say what happens is you can organize these so for instance let's say and, and i'm going to go ahead and add the chart of accounts if i haven't yeah you know, the chart of accounts is on here already so maybe i need to move that before bank transactions so let's do that so again looking at the bookmark section over here when i click on save you'll see the changes occur almost simultaneously so here we go and there you go you can see that the customer and vendor tabs are added 
and the chart of accounts moved above the bookmarks. So you can pretty much customize this to how you want it and how it works best for you. So anyway, I hope this helps you today. Y'all have a wonderful day. Take care, everyone, and we will see you very soon.